I believe Alex has a great doc. I, I, I believe that. I've never seen it, but if someone walked up to me and okay. said, Yo, you ever seen Alex's go. doc? I'd be like, No, but I bet it's sick. All right, well, you know, Dr. Mario definitely not the most represented character in the stage. Nice crash cancel grab. But it can chain down. grab the, the, the sheets. Which is... Yeah, so, you know, Doc definitely has the punish game of, you know, basically one of the best back the back okay. Board. Oh. Uh, I will say, so as a former Dr. Mario main, those backers were clean. Like, those were frame tight backers in Shield, out of Shield. So, I mean, Alex is off for, looking pretty good so far. Yeah, um, had a nice little slide off in the fast hole there. Definitely looks like he knows what he's doing at a glance. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Omar also? Oh, oh wow. Wow! The bait on the down tilt! The bait back was so <laughs> clean! What? Uh, okay. Omar is definitely one of the more, like, low charty sheiks, you know, like, Spark Jr., known for the tech chase game. So, if there's a Sheik to play against with, uh, like, random mid-tier, this might be a pretty good draw. Um, cause, yeah, I think Omar maybe isn't as, like, experienced in, uh, with, you know, random characters, also looks pretty flowcharty, so being outside of that comfort zone can make it more difficult to play. Okay, this is looking pretty dominant. Yeah. Um, so, on off the oh. ledge, oh, tournament winner. Yeah, Doc has one of the worst tournament winners in the game. It is so <laughs> like projected. Like it's like the full two fan lip plus the, the, the bolts. It's like it's you can see it from a mile away. Like his hurt box during the tournament winner also seems like especially easy to hit compared to like Fox, whose hurt box seems really he leads with his face is the problem. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay, this should go to about 60, right? Yeah, it's like 55. Okay. You can regrab pretty consistently, like 40 to 45. Oh, uh, on bad players, you can get it like 55. Yeah, this is, uh, this is looking pretty dominant. Um, I, I hope that Omar can figure something out. You know, she can definitely slow down the pace of interactions, like play on the platform somewhat. Uh, this isn't oh. a matchup that has to be so scrappy like this if she doesn't want it to be. The quadruple roll to update everything was one of my favorites there. Yeah, oh, just tank, tank that pill. Um, oh. Oh, close. I think a little bit better of a match where you can get a little bit of horizontal movement with your match, with your cyclones as well. I think with a little bit more to the left, you would have been able to sweep some of the magnet hands. Uh oh, oh, oh free no. snap! It's broken. Fix it. Um, to be fair, the CG battlefield has a larger chance of bumping your head, so I don't know if my if it would have changed anything. Uh, fair enough. <laughs> up throw. Up th oh, yeah, up these there, GI, GI in. GI in, GI in. Die! Oh. oh. Battlefield giveth and taketh away. Yeah, I would say you hate to see it, but I actually love to see it because <laughs> the Sheik is trying to stall and then they just mess up and die, which makes it funny. Um, yeah, okay, so I think, you know, Omar should definitely have the time in the set to make the adjustments, even if you haven't played the matchup before. Honestly, Dr. Mario is not the most complicated character. Uh, the things I'd say to keep in mind about playing him are that pills are really easy to hit. They really shouldn't, like, dictate your movement much. You You can kind of run under them or just slot them. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing, maybe uh, survival DI on forward air is no DI. So we'll see if that comes up. Right, um, here we go. Back on back, running back. I mean, it was close-ish. I mean, Sheik's always loved this change. But yeah, that, that, that last thing about the forward air DI, that's a good way to tell if the person has any Dr. Mario experience if they know not to DI. Right? Okay, yeah, see, if, if, the, if the Doc will just jump in like that, then the Sheik can definitely exploit that. Just, you know, it's not like Doc is better at camping than Sheik by any means. I mean, pills do rack up damage pretty quick, but they're relatively easy to avoid. Oh, no! Yeah, it's, yep. <laughs> I love a juicy Doc back air. They just send at the worst angles. Yeah, you know, that is, like, one of the really amazing tools that Doc has, just, like, offstage back air. Like wave dash off back air, like I was talking about in that last set that he might do. Um, Doc can do something similar, but man, that knockback angle on that move is mean. Look at the fair, actually. It's just almost 45 downward. Yeah, I was thinking that as well. 
Oh. Yeah, uh, Ultra? Actually, moving so nimbly, like in the quarry or using the platform. Oh. I, like, I don't think he gets nervous. The thing is, with uh, with Alex, he's he's just matter of fact. He's there oh. to take the stocks, and he's uh, he's absolutely brutal and efficient with it. So okay. he's definitely not one to get shaken up by getting put in the corner. Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, looks like he actually plays this character, so that's cool. Yeah, Dalto Fair, a uh, very consistent finisher at 100 plus. Um, it's, she just doesn't have a lot of the uh, floaty ability to get out of there. Float ability. Yeah, some problem there for her own down throw setups, which we see in all the floaty consecutive floaties. Oh, warrior on platform or forward smash on platform, always a flub, and then people never able to punish in time. You can actually let Sheik like get a nice shell drop reversal off of. You gotta be careful about baiting yourself when you mess up. Just because you'll be spaced farther back than you need to be, Jess. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna go for the ledge mix up there, just gonna go ahead and hold down the stage. Oh, yeah, Omar definitely playing with too much urgency there. It was really safe on the platform, then went to the ground, and then, like, ultimately just kind of, see, again, rushing in out of the corner, like, uh, corner play. Alex, uh, really locked and loaded for the reaction on that DI, so the um, down throw into fair is true at about this, like, 100% marks that we're seeing, but it, you have to react to the DI, so if you DI behind or DI in front, you have to, re um, either get the turnaround animation or you're gonna get the back end. Oh, Okay, oh yeah, straight down. Omar had already done that the last time he was offstage, so um, Ultra should have uh, been primed to cover that. Nice <laughs> power ledge, I thought that's a really good option. Right, try one more juggle up there, here we go. Grab oh. that ledge on and off, and back air. Yep, doesn't have the time to get the uh, sweet spot of forward air, but will be able to take that for And there does a good job holding on to the ledge. Yeah, no jump. Right. Gonna send us the last stock one more time. Ooh, yeah, getting needle grab. That's classic on almost any character. A lot of times you just need to try to like spot dodge and roll away, unfortunately. Oh, this could be it. Oh, finds the cave. Okay. <laughs> like a Mario recovery. Regular Mario. Platform tech chases. Oh, massive get up attack. <laughs> oh, charge on him. It's a roll. To be fair, Omar has been rolling there a lot this set, yes. so I yes. would have probably done the same thing. No, good stuff by Omar there, like, because Omar was definitely kind of choking in terms of uh, trying to regain center stage in previous spots, floundering a bit. So good that on the last stock was when Omar was actually composed. That's when you most need to be composed. All right, 1-1. One, one. So there's a lot of pretty hefty counter picks here. You can go Fox on FD, Fox on Pokemon. Dr. Mario on Pokemon is also very good, but the side platforms are pretty good for um, Dr. Mario as well. Um, everything else is... Uh, Yoshi's is okay. Um, all right, this go, yeah. so Yoshi's dock is, is not bad. The platforms are really good heights for Doc. Uh, really easy movements, and then it kind of uh, it shortens the necessity to lengthen out those combos. You're not looking for down throw fair at 100. You can definitely get some uh, down throw up air fair at these like 70 80 percent works as well oh oh, oh just oh. scoops them with the up till okay sir <laughs> yeah no yup uh, that was similar to what you're talking about right having a more forthcoming kill setup um you know the platforms are also a little bit easier to contest uh, battlefield and greenland their platforms are like really wide and high which makes it harder to hit on them. and just talk having very exploitable recovery. Needles are an incredible tool in just about any matchup, but especially against the Marios, that's for sure. Okay, there's that spot dodge they were talking about on the needle grab. Um, good stuff. Oh, again, this one time. Okay, yep. Oh. Nope. Yep. The second up air to the left, though. Up throw up air into uh, fair is definitely a really solid option for the, yeah, nice. for the down throw mix up as well, so allowing you to get some different perspectives. Oof. Almost uh, converting off that uh, up air, but maybe gets the fastball a little bit late after it. I'm not sure the right platform. So, Omar's doing a pretty good job of disengaging and then coming back in. Um, and, you know, Ultra's able to read that sometimes, but hasn't been getting the fattest hits off it. 
we'll have to see if uh, that pace continues to work for Omar. Oh. Alex struggling to get back down and will fly off the top of that up air. But Omar, that juicy percent down throw into fair is a true combo here. But looks like the go ahead and take that one down with a 12% lead. Yeah, um, get another flub off ledge. That one looked like it was an attempted wave dash down, not even like a wave dash down. So, from, you know, wave dash down. So that's a pretty bad flub to make. That means you're already not that confident in your ledge dash. You're going for an easy route. Oh, that's one more. Definitely need to look to go for a, a wave land into a continued tank chase there. Yes. You're not going to be able to uh, get a clean hit off the sheet of that percent. Yeah, that'd be really nice. Um, must have just been hard reading the tech in place, which can make it you know, super difficult to convert off of them. Which is not super fast. Oh, yeah. You can see Ultra doing a good job, like, playing neutral intelligently, but also having a hard time finding a spot to actually, like, make the move. Really hard for Doc and Sheik to know where there's an opening. Kill? Not quite. Finding spots for some up tilts, but... <laughs> Really struggling at getting she to come down off these side blocks. The mix ups are a little scary. And Shane comes out. Last time situation, one more time. Yeah, a lot of really crucial errors from Omar in these uh, ledge recovery situations. <laughs> you could, uh, could have set, like, um, dash jump cancel grab on that forward tilt. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, I think Omar's doing a really good job playing a little bit further back. See? Okay, still gets caught up right there though. Crucial grab situation here. Jab, love it! But great DI slide off for the for Oh, oh that wave land. But... Almost still ready though. Slide off. 2023 defensive game. Indeed. Oh. oh. And then presses the Z button too early there and accidentally buffers a light shell trying to wave land and grab. Oh, tries to catch a button platform! So scary. Okay, big trade here for Alex, charging it again, but... Oh, Randall right there, making this recovery. Oh, oh this all, right. all right. The lead goes to Omar here on that Yoshi's game. Do we stick with Mario PhD, Mario MD, or do we stick with, are we maybe switch it up for uh, Backflip Dog? Who knows? Backflip Dog. Uh, dude, I, I had a Joker moment against Third Strongest this past Melee Monday. Oh, he he's the he is the ultimate backflip dog main. He's so okay. good at backflipping, and I was like, ah, I gotta play with me some backflip dog. See what the hype's all about. Yeah. Okay. Well, let, let, let's say assuming he stays doc, you know, he definitely could have won that game. Um. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So it goes back to Yoshi. It, it's one hundred percent winnable, uh -huh. and that's how you do it. Yeah, it's the easy way to start it off. Pressuring your phone off. So you know, almost he's averaging an SD per game. Um and. Had two last game, so okay. Here we go. Yeah, this is what uh, this is what Ultra needs to actually find like juicier punishes rather than straight hits. Okay, okay, and like uh, also a slightly better execution in these crash cancel situations um could also make a big difference in Ultra because he's gotten a number of CCs but hasn't been able to leverage them like perfectly. Oh my oh, god, what is dude, happening? Someone check the controller, what's going on with Omar? <laughs> I think Omar's taking about as many of his own stocks as uh, Ultra is. <laughs> nice. It's funny too, because like, a lot of the time Omar's movement is looking really slick, just not a bad. She's pretty good on the edge, man. Did a tighten up that uh, Uncle Punch practice. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Um, yeah, would like to see Omar trying to actually hit the pills sometimes. You know, Sheik has lots of really fast moves. Oh, I the needle. I like the up smash mix up here from Ultra. Yeah, that's uh, always great. a really nice uh, combo starter for Doc to get. Up smash not like launching like most up smashes do, actually a combo. Yeah, up smash, um, out of a grounded, actually has different properties whether your opponent is in the air or grounded. So if you're hitting a right. grounded opponent with your up smash, actually does a semi spike into the ground, giving them a lot of hit stun. So yeah, I think it's it's a meteor, up. right? It's a meteor yeah. smash if they're grounded. It's a meteor. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's cool. Oh, not quite. Yeah, I, I suppose I know that doesn't work on Sheik, but I could be wrong. Two stocks apiece. 
Nice. Okay, I see. You can tell Omar has figured out how to DI that move. He's done. He's DI'd it every time. Right there would have been the time for a no DI. Um, so yeah, definitely does have a ton of experience this match. Oh, oh, just sneaks back on. Okay, looking for one shield poke here. Finds the back air. It's a big damage. Very, very powerful moving in, especially into the grab game uh, against Dr. Mario in this matchup. Mm. Yeah, and you can see this game, um, Omar's actually like playing a lot more grounded, and I don't know, I feel like it's it's working decently. Just, you know, those big flubs are what caught Omar. Oh! Break dance is on Randall. Last stock, all these last stock games, but Omar been throwing stocks in the wind. I don't know who's actually... Putting the pressure on. Uh, well then. I, I, you know. Three SDs for Omar, but again, gets away with the down or recovery. Maybe doing uh, some conditioning. You know, I don't, like, if I'm ultra in this spot, I don't feel great about how I'm playing. Because <laughs> I'm like, these are all very close, but Omar has probably <laughs> thrown away, like, maybe nine stocks so far this set. Maybe nine or ten stocks. Like, they're all pretty low percent stocks too. Like there was I can one remember like six. I remember six off the top of my head because it was three and then it was two and there's at least one in the first two games. <laughs> um, yeah, and remember that was also the counter pick uh, for um, throw up both times. So this will presumably be a bit harder, um, especially if Omar can DI that fair. Because it actually doesn't kill a really high percent on this stage. And Doc doesn't really have the gimp game on cheek that he does on a lot of other characters like against. Yeah, definitely uh, interesting to see the Alex sticking with the dog here. But maybe it's just the Dr. Mario kind of day. Maybe he's feeling pretty clean on the character and he can do it. Yeah, it definitely seems that way at this point. And um you know, I would actually say like that game three, especially the first Yoshi's lost, was like super winnable. No, that, that last game I think was actually probably a little bit worse. Realistically, ouch. Yeah, he's gonna get caught slipping on that DI. You know, a lot of times against Sheik off or down throw, like, you feel like you want to try a new DI because, like, what you're doing wasn't working, and then you do a different one, and then you remember why you don't do that. <laughs> why you don't DI straight up at low percent or no DI yeah, on down like, throw. Oh, yeah. getting, getting fair is actually better. <laughs> I, I, let me give me at least give me a chance to recover instead of just die off the top. That said, um, I didn't even really see any horizontal DI on that top on Smash Bros. So okay, okay, well, what do we got here? Ooh, yeah, it's possible it's in a weird spot. Definitely caused that kind of situation. Okay, gonna go down again. Ooh, yeah, you really just gotta do a late stand up against that down recovery, even if like it doesn't feel great for covering other options. Um, that's that's the way to cover that. Oh, yeah, some nice discipline holding shield there. Ultra, but uh, also good at not reading a roll or anything, just actually. The corners, but won't be able to finish off the stock quite yet. Crouch, crouch, down smash. Uh, there you go. Come on, let's do it. Yeah. Um, so if you crash cancel the up tilt, okay. Nice. Finally fixed it. Crash cancel the up tilt, what you really want to do is to punish between the two hits. So you want to like grab the two for the first hit before the second hit or shoots up tilt. Okay, grab here. Ooh, nice not ambiguous guy there. Making it difficult for the turn around grab. Yeah, I, I just, I'm not really seeing the neutral game mix-ups that Ultra is needing to close out. Maybe if Omar runs into the corner like this and gets himself killed, but, um, it's looking like the neutral is Oh! Here's the okay. jump, too. Uh, linking okay. those two up airs is so tight. That is very, very difficult. It looks way easier than it is. Yeah, and Omar Big also ups. just, you know, trying to jump out as would work against most people, but ends up being able to kill. Uh, right there, like, what you want to do is is jump and, like, probably turn around and she can just back here through the pill. They'll just hit the dock, like, just pretend the pill's up there, and, um, that'll, that'll swat it. It'll actually extend the hitbox. Yeah, like, like, right there, what just happened? Yeah, if you can apply that same thing to the recovery situations, um, you'll have a really easy time killing dock off stage. Anyway. 
Oh, yeah, see, okay, he figured it out there. Yeah, yeah, just he's... pretend the ball's in there. <laughs> <laughs> right, stocked out, we do have Jay access to the chain grab for the comeback, but it makes it a little more difficult when you play against Sheik. Not the easiest character Ooh. to grab. Fast break that kind of chill. Okay. Uh, it goes for the uh, late air and shield, yeah, um, you know, pressure mix up, but smart by, uh, smart by Ultra just rolling a little bit later. Okay, okay, we're going to the forward facing hitbox, but still damage nonetheless. And yeah, there we see what I was talking about on Yoshi's, how when the platforms are closer, it's easier to contest. And they're so far, she, she can get away with so much. So yeah, the platforms are still drop back down. So hard for Doc with his stubby legs, but you can really any character. That's bad. Looks like Homer might just have the sauce he needs. Yeah. That's gonna do it, ladies Ooh. and gentlemen. A game fiver, but it goes the distance to the man with zero regard for his own stocks. It goes to Omar. <laughs> yeah, that down B from Doc, unfortunately, is uh, pretty terrible. Mm. It has like a ton of end lag and barely like you know, affects the trajectory of your overall recovery because of the end lag. Um, so really easy to punish. Uh, you know, once you saw Omar not take his own stocks, it seemed like it was pretty straightforward. Yeah, Omar didn't SD at all in game five. That's, that might have <laughs> been the problem. <laughs> so if, if that's the deciding factor, you probably should reevaluate your strategy against the <laughs> player.